Welcome back to episode 36 of G'day from the USA. I'm your host, Lady Amanda, and I thought it would be fun to have a chat about what it's really like for an Australian living and working in the USA. My co-host this week is none other than our favourite Canadian, Julie. Good morning. G'day, welcome back. Julie was, of course, born and raised in Kamloops, Canada, and now lives in Battleground, Washington. Julie is as Canadian as all dressed chips. Oh, yum. Oh, my God. You did just go on a trip and bring some back, uh-huh. the originals. What are yeah. they called, Dutch girls? No. Uh, old Dutch? Old Dutch. Oh, my the God. Canadian they brand. are with, to die um, for. With, uh, they're like ruffle or they're like, you know, have ridges. Mm. Because I- they have this um, one at the moment in the USA. Mm-hmm. They're called Old Dress, but they're like a limited time flavor option. But And they are amazing. But I think that was Lay's, right? Level. Yes. Okay. Lay's, but they're... They're not as kettle. flavorful. That's right. Lay's kettle chips. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if oh. they were kettle. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I felt like they were. I think they were. Maybe they were. But they don't have as much flavor. Right. The, yes, the, the ones the, that I taste tested popped. And remember you said you could taste the ketchup? Yes. Vinegar. And bacon. And bacon. It was a combination like that just exploded in my mouth. I loved it. Yeah, and and uh, we did have, I bought another bag just quickly when we stopped at a gas station and they were bacon and I think sour cream. Oh, how did you not bring those back for Well, me? they got eaten right okay. away. <laughs> it's like all good intentions yeah, when you I'm, bring yeah. them back for someone but then you snack on yeah, them on the way. Yeah. But I'm going up in November, so I'll I'll put in a little order. Yeah. Love this. Well, we are currently on location in one of our favourite places in the entire world, which is Skamania Lodge. Uh, We had a beautiful dip in the pool this morning. Yes. Uh, You know, it's so refreshing. Um, And up here, it seems like you're almost in another world. Yes. I mean, we're what, half an hour from Vancouver? Yeah, I think, yeah, it's exactly that, about half an hour. And... Yeah, you feel like you're in the middle of the wilderness. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe even you could be in another country almost. Ooh, I like that. Like you know, Switzerlanders. You know when you sit in the, uh, what would you call the lobby area with yeah. the big windows? The lobby area yeah. with the big windows. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you look out towards the river. Yes. And those mountains. Like that oh, could it's be. magic. Uh, that could, could be Switzerland or something. You're yeah, right. or just some European place or maybe yes. New Zealand or I don't know. That is true. You, yeah, could it be like the South Island of New Zealand? You could be. Yeah. Yeah. I just love that view. It's got a fireplace. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's just to die for. Yeah. We did have a lovely breakfast today. Yes. What and did you have again? I uh, had my standard go-to when I'm in a restaurant often on vacation, the avocado toast. Oh, yes. And and theirs, theirs was, the, the one I had this morning was... Uh, it was very fancy. It how they was. Had, they had a little bit of cilantro and then this other little red piece of, I think it was red pepper or something like, kind of designed, like cut into a little swirl. Huh. I mean, it looks beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I had the same thing. Uh, I did ha- lash out and have a, a latte as well. Yeah, I had a mimosa, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you did. <laughs> when in Rome. Uh, I love this for us. Yes, it's very relaxing. Yeah. And it is the first time I've really taken um, the equipment on location. So it's sort of exciting for us. Yeah. And you know what I forgot to tell you? So when we got here, um, I was kind of behind. Amanda got all the stuff out of her car. And um, and we kind of look fancy anyways because she's got a very <laughs> nice car. <laughs> We didn't bring my 04 Camry because that wouldn't be fancy. Um, so, because we like to be fancy. Um, anyways, so we went in and Amanda has this new, uh, I guess, I don't want to call it a suitcase, but your, your carrying thing for all your equipment. Right. And so, so it's like a big, uh, maybe a trunk, rolling trunk slash suitcase thing. <laughs> and... Um, you, you said you got it off Amazon, but anyways, it looks, it's this beautiful kind of a rose gold color, very posh and fancy looking with kind of a navy blue trim around the outside. So, um, she was in front, so I'm like, I'll bring this. So <laughs> I was rolling this in and 
So I didn't tell Amanda this this part. I meant to tell you this in the hot tub yeah. when we were sitting there this morning. Then we got Gavin to those other people from where they were from. <laughs> but um, so I was behind you, and you were at the desk. So you were your back was kind of to me. Mm-hmm. And when I came rolling in, and maybe we will see him again, there was this little, well, I shouldn't say little. There was this middle-aged Japanese man. Uh-huh. Did you notice him? I did not. I was too busy checking in. And... He was kind of like, he saw you go in first, so he's kind of looking at you. And then here I come with this rolling, beautiful, shiny, rose-colored <laughs> truck suitcase. <laughs> and um, he said, is she famous? Oh, uh, what? Yeah. Oh, like you were my entourage. Like I was the entourage. <laughs> I love that. Because you kind of like strolled up. I strutted in, you, in yeah. my new jacket. Yeah. And then, she, and then, and he has a real, we'll run into him again. I think uh-huh. he said he was staying a couple of days. I told him we were. Okay. You know, when we on. do, can you be carrying all my things? I will. <laughs> but you had the, your new sunglasses. Were those Wills that he left? Or yes. Remember you had those well. sunglasses? Yeah. So anyways, he, he has a really, uh, Asian, Japanese accent, and he said, um, my name is, and he's like, Iksuki or something like that, and I'm like, pardon me, and he said his last name, I can't even think of what his last name was, but Iksuki or something. Yeah. So, I said pardon me twice, and then he said, we could call him Sam. Okay. So, so, so Sam. Uncle Sam? No, just Sam's his English name, I guess. Uh-huh. Nobody. And he said he was from Kyoto. I've never heard of that, but Kyoto in Japan. No, I've been to Japan, but it doesn't and ring a bell. So anyways, long story short. So he asked if you were famous. I said, mm-hmm. well, matter of fact. Oh, you did not. <laughs> How did you not tell me about this straight away? Well, I was going to, and then when we were in the hot tub and those people from wherever they were hungry or something yeah. got in on all their stories and we could hardly get a word in edgewise but anyways so i said well matter of fact her name is lady amanda she's english royalty <laughs> and she does a podcast this is her podcast equipment wow and she's also on tiktok and he does podcasts in his town in japan oh wow like some kind of cooking or something that's cool yeah so anyway well, i hope we um, run into sam yeah so yeah, his name, his Japanese name isn't Sam, but his name that we can call him. Okay. So, yeah, so quite nice. You'll recognize him right away. Middle aged, um, dresses very sharp, and nice. He's quite impressed with your entourage. I love this. Yeah. yeah. Well, yes, I'll definitely give you everything to hold of mine, so I can can strut around looking more famous. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think it's the bag and, or the rolling. Yes trunk thing it's not a truck you know what i mean i know what you mean but you but that carried the equipment very well nice yeah oh, i love that um yes anyways this is your first time staying here first time staying here i mean I've, you've been here before. i've been here before i know you came first one other time, time when i was night, down uh, here yep it i you know it's just nice it's night, my night. happy place it's Legitimately, yeah. I have nothing but good memories. Nice here, towels, and it's just, nice sheets. The sheets are and nice. the rooms. The I rooms mean, we nice. got an upgrade. Yep, um, that was nice. A free upgrade to a. I think that was your Australian accent. It was. Uh, it's. I mean, the view. We're we're looking right out now at yeah. the gorge. The yeah. sun is coming up. It's. Yeah. I mean, it's stunning. Well, and even when we're driving here, mm-hmm. remember I was saying like, in the Pacific Northwest, this time of year, if it's not raining, yes. It's beautiful. Well, it's stunning. Like the leaves are all changing. You know, if we could have this all winter instead of the rainy yes. drizzle. I don't like the grey. No. Um, our day did ne- nearly take a turn for the worse yesterday when what, what, I put- nearly ran over a squirrel. <gasps> <laughs> Just ran straight out in front of my car. Yeah. And we both and said... What did you say? Ah! No. Ah! <laughs> this- because I said if we had run over the squirrel, <laughs> our whole plans... <laughs> Would have to be cancelled because then we would be rehabbing this injured, smunched squirrel. Yeah. That is how our day would have gone. Yeah. So thankfully we did not hit hit it. it. Didn't hit it. And it was kind of a bigger one, so who knows? It could have been mean. I mean, I don't know. Oh, man, I'm sure it would have been not too friendly, a wild animal like that. Have you ever hit and killed a squirrel? Oh, God, I have. It was the most horrific moment of my life. I was coming out of work. And I was driving along um, Mill Plain and it was Mm -hmm. like, you know, just a one-way road. Right. 
And um, I was watching these two little squirrels run up and down a tree. And I'm like, oh, my God, they're so cute. They're so cute. <laughs> and as I'm watching them and then start to drive off, one of them darts under my back wheel and I just heard clunk. Oh and I was like, gosh. no. So I quickly – I couldn't do anything. I couldn't stop. I couldn't do anything. I had to drive, like make a whole loop yep. um, because it was one-way road. Yeah. So I did a loop, loop, loop back. Yep. And as I got there – um, I was like, oh, my God, and I ran over to it, and just as I was about to get to it, another car came and splat. Uh, oh. It was horrific. So not only did I hit the squirrel, I then watched it get splat in front of my eyes. So it was still alive before yes, the person Yes, it was m- the it. most horrific moment ever. Oh, and then what did devastated. you do? Just leave it there? I, I, there couldn't ever, I didn't have enough to scrape it off the ground. It was that <laughs> flat. <laughs> it was horrific. I mean, oh, you know how much I love squirrels, and that yeah. was trauma- traumatizing. Oh. Have you? Yeah. Have you? I don't recall I mean, I don't hitting. I'm like sure talking hit, about I'm, this. I'm sure I've hit a squirrel, but I've hit other things. Yes. And I hate it when you're like, because you, you're driving along and you see it and then it darts one way, darts the other way. And That's you're like. the problem. They're so erratic. And you never know which way it's going to dart and you're you, you're zigging and it's zagging. Yeah. And, and then next thing, thud. I actually almost hit uh, yesterday morning. I was coming back from work. Um, it was like early hours of the morning and it was very dark and these three, it might have even been four, deer ran out. And they Ooh. were like, they were thinking Where it was, was like two. Uh, not far from you. Like oh. sort of coming back from that oh, way. Oh, because they hang around at the lake. Yeah. Oh, my you God. You have to watch that. Yeah. And I had to really slam the brakes on. And then really? they just stood there like deer in the headlights. Yeah. Um, anyway, I got the footage on my dash cam. I keep uh-huh. remember thinking yeah. to pull it off because it was the most craziest thing. And they just stood there and looked at you. So, yeah. And they did, then they just stood like wandering around the road. I'm like, guys, <laughs> guys, come on. Oh, so totally different subject kind of, but not really. Uh, when we went up to Canada recently mm-hmm. and um, so we did a bunch of things in the morning. We were very busy. But anyways, we went to this one. It's called Mac- MacArthur Island. Oh. So... It's where, when I grew up there, they had, uh, in the winter, they had like, uh, did they have a, I don't think they had a hockey rink. They, they had curling, curling rinks. Oh my God, people and then, do that? Yeah. And then they had like, that's where I graduated. Like they had a big, you know, a big auditorium right. thing, right? Anyways, it's a very nice big park and they have, that weekend we were there, they were having rugby tournaments. Oh, So, you know, and Cassie used to play rugby in college. So, and I think you call them pitches. They're like uh-huh. games. Oh, okay. Anyways, there was a lot going on, and so we were driving in, and we were following my sister. My sister had, it was my sister and my, my two sisters, and then my mom and I. Sue and Wendy, yep, yep. shout out. So we were driving along. <clears throat> Anyways, there were deer wow. hanging out. Yeah. Like, on the fields. That's crazy. Like, with the people. And That's so yeah, cool. Yeah, Wendy says that they're there so often and nobody bugs them. Like, it was noisy. There were kids yeah. running around. So they're so used to it. They're they so feel used comfortable. To it. They're just like. That's amazing. Hanging around grazing. Did you see a moose? Not this trip. I'm so jealous. I mean, not that you didn't see one, but that you've ever seen one. Because yeah. I'm desperate yeah. to see a moose. Yeah. A moose in the wild. Yeah. A bear and a moose in the wild. Yeah. I could die happy. And, and when we were up there and. Too, I won't go into all the stories because one day you'll go up and and meet Wendy and Pete and. That's Can I just give a shout out and thank you for my gifts? She bought me these beautiful squirrel socks. <laughs> uh, it was just like so touching to me. Yeah. And then Julie gave me this lovely framed, well unframed print yeah. that I will be framing. Yeah, love it. Yeah, thank you. Do you remember what the print said? You are fucking radiant. <laughs> 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 you may look and see that I um. Oh, yeah. Um, I have a photo of it on my phone if yeah, you yeah, yeah to show yeah. anyone because I do love it. Yeah. Anyways, so long story short, um Wendy loves grizzlies. Yes. So are you more into grizzlies or black bear or any I'd kind of I'd go bear? any bear. Okay, she koala bear. <laughs> she has had panda bear. She has had even some close encounters with a grizzly. Oh, that's scary. <gasps> yeah. And great photos. Uh, up. <laughs> great photos as she's almost <laughs> losing a limb. No, no. She's got, but uh, they go up onto the, um, it would be the west side of British Columbia. Okay. Out on the coast. There's a lot of grizzlies. And I had Googled this on my phone. I kind of forgot most of it. So we're sitting there having dinner with them. And Pete, my brother-in-law said, did you hear about that couple in Banff? Ooh. 
that got Banff is very touristy. Yep. That got eaten. What? Like, yes. Like a week before. So this is maybe, we should go Damn. Google it later. Like yeah. two weeks ago, maybe no more than three weeks ago, uh, a couple and they were experienced hikers. Whoa. Man and a lady and her husband. And this is they, what you get for hiking. Yeah. I mean, and they were, well, that? maybe they were camping. They, I don't know. Anyways, That's they, really they had some of the relatives speaking, so they were very well experienced and, Aww. um, they were in their, I think, 50s. So if anybody that's listening wants to just Google a uh, couple killed by grizzly in Banff, B-A-N-F-F. Yeah. That it, and, and it's very recent. It'll just pop up. But anyways, so the reason, so these people went missing and the, the reason they, or the way they found them was this particular grizzly had a tracking collar on it. Oh. And the people that were tracking it could tell by the movement of the bear oh. that it was attacking something. That's horrific. Like it's, it must yeah. have been its heart rate up, blah, 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 da, da, da. Yeah. <clears throat> so they went to where that tracking was and they looked around and you know what? Grizzly bears, when they kill people, they bury them. Oh, I did not know that. Uh-huh. And they, they, Damn. they found the couple. It's almost like a dingo. Wow. What, dingoes bury their prey? I think so. Oh. But anyways, that happened very recently. You know, we didn't even hear about that. No. And, <clears throat> How far is Banff from Kamloops? Uh, driving, I would think it's like another uh, maybe eight hours, nine hours. Oh, it's a trek. Yeah. Usually when I describe where I'm from, like if, if somebody from, they just don't know Canada at all. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I usually say, okay, imagine British Columbia. And then if you've got Vancouver on the west and Calgary, which is by Banff right. on the east, Kamloops is kind of halfway through. Okay. So it's on the Trans-Canada, the main highway. highway that crosses yeah. Canada. Number one? Yeah. Trans-Canada one. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, yeah. And so then we got talking and, you know, we don't even realize how up there, there are a ton of grizzlies. I wouldn't have thought that. I can. I, I mean, I've been to Banff a couple of times, and yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, and so then uh, Pete was telling us that, and I never knew this. That so you know how a lot of guys and gals, I guess, are hunters, right? And so this time of year, they're hunting elk or deer or whatever they're hunting. Mm-hmm. So when so say they shoot and they get the elk, right? They're has to be a couple people because one person has to stand guard because those grizzlies are so smart. When they hear the shot, oh. they come to there. <clears throat> they come running. They come running. And that's crazy. I never knew that. And Did he said know. he said then grizzlies come because they know there's been a kill. I wonder what the population of grizzlies is. I don't know. And you know, Cassie was telling me that and maybe we could Google this that they're planning to <laughs> release some grizzlies into the Cascade Mountains. Why? Like outside Seattle. So they're bringing Canadian grizzlies. No, I don't know if they're the Canadian. USA. Maybe they're from Montana. Okay. I don't know. Because oh, there's, there's, there's a lot of grizzlies, I think, in the Yellowstone area too. So what's the point of bringing them? <laughs> we need to Google I, I, this. Uh, yeah, is what I'm yeah, understanding. Yeah, and we're kind of down a path. But, um, a rabbit that, hole. That's, you know what? That is not a good idea. Because no. look at all the... The hikers and the people. Yeah. And, yeah. That's sad. Yeah. Anyways. Wow. Uh, how's your week been? Good. I mean, like you said, you went to Canada. Yeah, I went to, yeah, that's. Oh, that was now, a couple of weeks ago now. A couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Now. Yep. And that was just a quick trip. Um, I usually, often I go in like October, but mm-hmm. uh, because shortly uh, the roads are going to start getting bad. Oh, you I didn't think about pass. that. over a big pass. Yep. And so I had a four day off and I think it was on a, like a Tuesday or a Wednesday. And I said to Cassie, uh, you know, we should really go up and see yeah. the Nano and the family. So Nano's my mom. And so she took the time off and I had my four day off. I may or may not have called in sick one day to get ready, but that's beside the point. But um, it's called sick of working. (laughs) (laughs) I text my friend, said I had an eye condition. I just couldn't see myself going to work that day. Oh, I love that. (laughs) 
<laughs> Have you heard of that before? I've never. Yeah. So if, so if you call off for work, just say you had an eye condition. Eye condition. Yeah, you had a sore eye. I couldn't see, my, uh, <laughs> couldn't see myself going to work. <laughs> but anyways, long story short. Can I just say, I mean, shout out to me. I've only had one sick day. Really? In six years. Is that impressive? No. <laughs> I mean, it should have been way I more mean, than that. I mean, I guess if that kind of thing is, 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 uh, uh, I would never win that prize. Right. Yeah. You make use of them. Yeah. Got it. And ours are just vacation days, but you can use them you, interchangeably. You know what? Sometimes you just have to have a uh, mental health mental day. health day. I agree. I think because I work nights and I generally have my days free, it's sort of yeah. I don't need them as much, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like I have to be dying. Yeah. And maybe too, because you don't have to deal with as many people. Oh, during exactly. The day, that's right? why I like working nights. Yeah. Yeah. And and sometimes that's what is the exhausting part. <sighs> I can't even imagine your job. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you work as a CNA. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Exhausting. You do 20,000 steps a day. Like mm-hmm. you have, yeah, and you, you, you work like crazy long days, like 12. Uh, well, they're tw- they're called 12s, but they're like 12 and a half because half an hour is for <laughs> It's even <much>. worse. <laughs> um. I was going to say that I had a good week as well. Yeah. I went uh, away with a group of friends. There were six of us. We went to this little cabin in the woods out sort of on the way to um, Leavenworth. Yeah. And, oh, God, this uh, – then I showed you the photos. I saw, it, yeah. So I'm going to have to look up that VRBO num- – was it VRBO or Airbnb? Uh, VRBO. Uh-huh. Oh, sorry about that. Just knocked my glasses off. Um, yes. But at, we went to Leavenworth. Have you uh-huh. been? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, stunning. Um the problem was it was Oktoberfest. <laughs> so so when you said that to David, he's like, What was she expecting? You're in Leavenworth in October. Yeah. Uh, three I mean I think we didn't three, plan it that way. Yeah, but just, I think three different weekends in October they do Oktoberfest. Right. Didn't even connect the dots. Did you see the parade and all that? Uh, Is that a parade? I uh, uh, wouldn't say a parade, but they had a band yeah. marching, yeah. singing, if that's the parade. <laughs> um I mean, it was still lovely. Luckily, yeah. we, I did say we need to get here early because this is going to be insane. We won't even be able to park anywhere. Yeah. Uh, we did. We were able to park. But, yeah, it, you couldn't have gone to any restaurant or whatever. So there you didn't eat at any restaurant there? Did not. Just uh, little snacky snacks at, like, the bakery. and. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, but, yeah, good to – I mean, I've been many a time. I do prefer it when it's snowy. Uh-huh. Beautiful. Um, also, speaking of October, I'm looking forward to Dixie's – Oh. Um, Halloween party. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, this is an event. It's a big event for yeah. Dixie like. loves Halloween. Mm-hmm. You know, I like fall. Like I'm all all decorated with pumpkins and fallish stuff everywhere. Yeah. Oh God, you really I've, have I've, gone I've all gone out. A little crazy. That's I don't even an know like thirty or so. I like the ones that you can get, and they're actually you know fake or decorated or whatever, and then I just put them away. Yeah, bring them out the next. One year. thing I have not noticed you have is um, pumpkin spice anything. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I've not noticed you been doing anything well, like I that. I think some of my uh, doesn't my kitchen smell pumpkin spice. No, no. I mean in terms of like drinks or yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. I never noticed no, you have anything like not that. Not really. Yeah. But I think I have some uh, candles and then those plug-in things that you plug in the wall. Mm. I think right now there's some. And I like those because then if you're going somewhere, you don't have to have the candle and yeah. remember to. Your house you know. always looks lovely. Oh, I mean, it's like a display room. Well, you haven't been to the back bedroom. Never showed you that. Um, or the bathroom. Anyways, we'll move on. Uh, yes, we're moving on. Uh, I did also want to give a shout out to David because I've had a couple of wonderful meals yeah. lately. Yeah. Um, pork chops with apple sauce yeah. is a yeah. highlight. Yeah. Um, and chicken and dumplings. I had not Isn't really. Good? Oh my God. Do tell how you got so lucky to have these gourmet meals every bloody day. I don't day. know, you know, and, and I always tell him that like I could eat anything and I can eat the same thing over and over and over I'm and over. I'm like that too. And like if I was cooking for myself, eh, I could even have like an egg and a piece of toast for dinner. Like, right. Who cares? Whatever. Exactly. Easy peasy. But David likes to have decent meals. Yeah. And sometimes it's he's better just than like, a restaurant. Yeah. And sometimes he's just like, I think yesterday, yesterday was a little bit rainy, I think, part of the day, wasn't it? Right. Yeah. I was at work. So we don't have windows in our area. But, anyways, um, 
So he made chicken and dumplings. I've been home when he's made it. I think it's like a one pot dish. And he just gets the chicken. and But the chicken is so moist. Oh. And what I loved the most about this for me was that David said, come over and eat. Yeah. And I said, I've already eaten. Like uh, this is the tragic moment for me because I literally just ate and I feel yeah. really full. And he said, bring a bowl <laughs> and come and get some for Later. like lunch yeah. or whatever the so next So did you day. have it last night? I did. <laughs> and it was incredible. Well, not last night, but yeah. yesterday yeah. for lunch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So I really thought that was um, so kind of him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like when we were having pork chops and I was coming home and I had picked up pork chops. And then he said, you know, we really should have pork chops more often Mm. because I think it's healthier than beef. Yes. I have to steer clear of the bone, but I chopped off the little bit and it was just like. What? Do some people gnaw on the bone? I don't gnaw on the bone. I don't know. I just don't do bones. No. But anyways, um, with the applesauce. And then so I just called Amanda and said, uh, we're actually truly having pork tonight. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) <laughs> right, because you know how normally it's beef and they're like, oh, it's pork. Don't worry. you. It's good. You'll love it. But yes, legitimately. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, we have some feedback from last week. Uh, Kitty was a little insulted with the Brandy episode where we mentioned our one listener, David. Uh-oh. She says she religiously listens and we have two listeners. Oh, <laughs> so, yay. Yes, go Kitty and David. <laughs> yay. Um, TikTok. Can we talk about that for a second? Okay. I really appreciate you making some videos with me. Yeah. We did one on why Americans call um, chicken burgers chicken sandwiches. Yeah. And you had some really good points. Well, uh, and we Googled it afterwards, I think, or Cassie did. Yeah, you nailed it. And and because the burgers have meat in them. Like ground meat. Ground meat. And that's why it's called a burger. Yes. And And then a chicken sandwich or a fish sandwich. Like it, a whole pit of meat is yep. a sandwich, no matter no, regardless of the bread. It's called a burger, is what you're meaning. And if it's fish okay. or chicken, it's a sandwich. Right. 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 Um, yes, in Australia, it's purely by the bun. Like the burger bun, it's yeah. a burger. Um, yeah, that's weird. Sa- like pieces of bread, it's a sandwich. Yeah. Doesn't matter what's in it. Yeah. And I think here they're going by what's in it yes which surprised me but uh yes the tiktok has been going really well um Mm -hmm. gradually getting more followers and yeah it seems i think you should i think you should put the your big winning well not winnings but earnings Uh uh-huh from tiktok to something special yes like a trip i'm loving this speaking of trips speaking of trips (laughs) yes so you go on amazing trips. Yes. And we were kind of talking about it. Yes. Actually, we were talking about it on our, on our way here because we were pretending we were, well, we were going on a trip. We were. We are on a trip. But um, so what are some of your, your trips that you've just loved? Oh, God. Because you've gone memorable. To, yeah, you've gone to, to okay. so many more places than yeah. I've gone. So one of, one of my most memorable will be uh, Egypt. Um, wow. And what makes it more memorable is... My mum, literally from the time I was born, I all I remember her saying is her dream destination is Egypt. Like mm-hmm. all she wants to do is go to Egypt. So to I was see the pyramids, or she just wanted to go to Egypt. Egypt. So yes, and to see the pyramids. So we, were, I was living in London, and mm-hmm. I booked. Um, mum was coming over to visit, and I booked this surprise trip to Egypt, mm-hmm. and I thought this she's going to be. It. Like, love this. Like, favorite daughter. Right. Like, you know, like gold stars. Well, like you're the only daughter, aren't you? Only daughter, but yeah, <laughs> favorite. Um, so, anyway, I booked this trip. Now, about a week or two before we were to go, um, there was some terrible shooting at the pyramids and, oh. you know, like, it was like a mass murder thing. Like, and what? do you remember what year this, like, how long ago was I reckon this? it was like 1998, 1997, oh. 1998. Um, and... It was an advisory not to travel. So anyway, she comes over. I'm like, God, like this happened. Like, do we do it? Do we not? And we're both like, eh, what are the odds of it happening yeah. again? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's happened now. Well, it's like, like, it's it. like they say, don't go to Mexico and they're always saying right. that. Like, exactly. So we did. We went. Anyway, we got there. And th- like, like I said, this is mum's dream destination. Right. So she thinks this is going to be like all her dreams will come true here. We get there. It was like. So you fly from London to. to I think we just went straight to, yeah, Cairo. Is it a very long flight? I can't even remember. It was was maybe like seven, eight 
Oh. It was pretty decent. Uh, long story short, we get there. It's pretty like dirty. It's um, the traffic was insane. Mm-hmm. You know, you could never cross the road. There was people just everywhere with um, like guns. Like you'd go into a restaurant, and they're just like armed guards, like type things. Like yeah. you know, it just was like a different world. And then I went and bought this um, papyrus thing that had my name on it. Mm-hmm. And anyway, we get back to our hotel, and they're like, "Oh, what did you get today?" And I showed them my thing, and I said, "Oh." And they're like, what does it say? And I'm like, Amanda. And they're like, that is not Amanda. <laughs> that is definitely not Amanda. So anyway, we, we went back and mum's like, you ripped us off on all this. I'm like, you're going to get us killed. Uh, long story short, um, it was, yeah, it was not all that she thought it was going to be. Yeah. But the, the, the funniest or the worst bit for me was that, um, you know, have you ever heard, I mean, we have this thing called barley belly. So when you go to barley, you don't drink the water or you'll get an upset stomach. Oh. So anyway, same with um, Egypt. So I drank the water. Uh-oh. Well, I think I was brushing my teeth or whatever I right, did and used right, the water. Mistakes right. were made. So anyway, the next day we're on uh, camels, uh-huh. like, you Uh-oh. know, traipsing across the desert. Okay. And I felt so sick yeah. that in the end I said, I got to get off this camel. Yeah, and and the I literally just slid off the back of the camel and just laid in the desert, like in the sand. And <laughs> <laughs> mum's like, get up, we have to go. And then I ended up just walking back and I was just so and sick. And they don't even have like over here, you're like, call Emma. <laughs> yeah, I was just <laughs> it's like, they so don't have that. Sick. Oh my God. So, yeah, huh. that's my memory of um, huh. of the good old times in, uh, in you know, Egypt. You know, work we call it, uh, I'm sure you have too, projectile vomiting Ew. and explosive diarrhea. Was that- ew, ew, ew. Uh, luckily, I didn't have no. explosive, but yeah, it was not, I was not well. Um, what about you? Some of my good trips? Yes, um, tell me. Well, speaking of travel advisories, I guess. Uh, David and I really do love going to Mexico. So, uh, What's your favorite part? So we go down to, uh, we've been, I've been to like Cancun, of course, and Puerto Vallarta mm-hmm. uh, areas. But we love going down to, it's called Zihuataneo. Oh. So sometimes you say that people have no idea, but it's right. on the West Coast side, quite far south, about 200 miles north of Acapulco. Uh-huh. Anyways, uh, it's called Guerrero State, hmm. it's like G G U E R R something rather. Okay, that one is always on the do not go list. Oh, really? Uh-huh. So basically, if we followed all the do not goes, we'd never do we'd anything never in our anywhere. entire life. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's more like a little fishing village. So um, I mean, I've seen the photos. Yeah, it's stunning. and I think we've been there. Uh, maybe six times at least. And the last yeah. time, before we were staying about uh, four miles away in a little place called Ixtapa, which is more touristy. And then the last time we stayed in Ziwa, mm-hmm. in a VRBO. And, um, you know, it's just, and we usually stay for, I don't remember, like maybe 12 days or something. So yeah. you can really kind of relax and just, you know, Food walk. Amazing. walk uh, that's why I love Mexico. Yeah. Like, I think Mexico. What's Mex- your favorite Mexican food? Well, I always, as a go-to, would have a fish taco. Oh, I had a fish taco the other night. Huh? Oh, my God. Was it good? Oh, amazing. Where was that at? Uh, Barrel Mountain Brewing, just oh, in yeah. local. Oh, yeah. They yeah, they do tacos. a good steelhead taco. Yeah. You know where I, um, maybe we should stop on the way back from here. Mm-hmm. Um, because it would be good to stop in the before like dinner hour Mm -hmm. is right on fourth street in camas that main street okay there's this restaurant called mesa something m-e-s-a have you seen it it has wood a wood front or whatever no anyways um i'll look it up i'll google it mexican the Mm. best tacos okay and then you just order the individual tacos it's like four dollars or whatever yeah last time we went i got like a uh carnitas pork Mm. And Love then that. a, uh, what's the f- word for shrimp? Cor- oh, God, I would not Corona- I know. Uh, po- coronas? Polio? No, Polo? not Coronas. Uh, Camerones. I-, I don't know. Okay. Whatever. Do you ever do tongue? No. Oh, that just grosses me out. No. I mean, I say tongue tacos. Is that Mexico? No. Yes, no. Mexican. I remember they when we were- the little vans. Yeah, at a restaurant down in, Z- in Ziwa, and they had- um, was it grasshopper tacos or some weird what? thing? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. When, I'm intrigued. Yeah. When we went to, so another trip, we went to, I've been to Thailand a couple times. 
Love Thailand. Where did you go in Thailand? So, of course, Bangkok. You know, yes. fly into Bangkok. What did you think of that? Crazy. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, dirty. Yes. Smelly. Yes. I didn't love it. I went with um, local. wires everywhere. Like you it know, was the, insane. The overhead, uh, all their, I guess, electrical and everything. It's kind of like Mexico. It's I almost guess like too. a favela. Is that what you say? I don't know what a favela is. Oh. But um, yeah, just crazy stuff like that. And, um, and they drive crazy. Yes. I did get hair extensions there. That's my one oh. good thing about oh. I had made the very bad mistake of cutting my hair, thinking mm-hmm. I'd look great. I mean, not short, 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 but, you know, maybe like bob or whatever, like a short bob. Yeah. And it was so bad that I paid to have these glorious hair extensions and got my long hair back and <laughs> so, I loved so, every minute of it. Some Some Asian girl cut her hair and you just – Stuck it onto the bottom. <laughs> I have no idea. But however, it went. It was stunning. Oh. Like I was actually sad when they started and how, coming out. And how long did they? Oh, ma- I probably had it in six months or something. It was really? amazing. Really, it was real hair. I mean, oh. I I remember it being cheap because I was in Bangkok. Yeah, but it was not cheap for the Bangkok people. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it was expensive yeah. for them. But yeah, things like that, massage and that, all cheap. Yeah. But and yeah, didn't love Bangkok at no. all. And the food, oh, we, like I said, I went with a local, I had uh-huh. a friend, uh-huh. um, and she'd take us to the local places and it was all like organs in their food. It was, yeah. oh. I lost so much weight on that trip yeah. because I could not eat anything. Yeah, we had a friend uh, that lived over there and was from Seattle but lived there and so we kind of did more of the authentic things too, like riding mm-hmm. in the, um, I'm sure that. Oh, the, tuk-tuks. Yeah. No, uh, the canal boats. Oh, and, yeah. And, you know, the tourists, the quote, real tourists, if you're just doing mm-hmm. touristy things, they ride in these nice little boats. But the um, locals, you go down and you get on this boat. And, of course, you've gotten up that morning. It's so humid. You know, you're already like sweating and it's eight thirty a.m yeah like nine and um and you're wearing flip-flops and you're kind of like walking through this wet stuff on the ground that you're mm-hmm. pretending that you don't know what it is because you don't and um <laughs> so then these uh boats cassie would probably remember like boats come up they just bump into the side of the dock yeah and you hop on like it's free for all yeah. So one year we had uh, my son and my daughter. Son was sixth grade, so he's like twelve or thirteen, whatever. And and it's like, okay, everybody, when it comes, just get on, get yourself on. Yeah. You, it bumps into the dock. You jump on, and then um, some guy's walking around and he collects your coins. Mm-hmm. But when this boat goes fast, they pull these ropes and those blue tarps go up. Oh wow. Because the water's so dirty. Huh. Interesting. I've yeah. never seen them. Well, they're kind of like how the locals get around. I mean, and I did go on a little boat, but I yeah, I just remember people coming up onto the side trying to sell you shit. Yeah. And I bought some pencils, yeah. something ridiculous. Yeah. No, and then you just go down and then you watch. Like we did it a couple times to this big mall. And then you watch. You're like, okay, I think I see my stop. Like mm. my, my stop's too down. Oh, and then God. you get yourself ready. Because he just kind of bumps in, and then you better be quick and jump off and don't land in the water. Oh, did you anyway. go to any beautiful parts? Like we went to an island called Krabi. Oh, and I've it heard was of that. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, it was like you know the movies where you see, um, like Thailand, and it's just the beautiful water and uh-huh. the little columns in the water and things uh-huh. like that. Yeah, it was stunning. Well, we was, went. That was really nice. We went down to. Uh, I can't remember if it's Ko- Koh Samui. I think oh, Koh Samui. Oh, yes, that's Ko- there, stunning. There's Koh Samui and Koh Samet. We went to the smaller one. Right. Um, went over in a little boat. So, you know, we park and here comes this, I'm thinking it's like a ferry boat. Oh, no, no, no. It's just this little boat with puffing smoke coming out. And I had my passport on me and I thought, okay, well, at least if we go, if we sink, I can just tread water and hold my passport above my Head for a while till somebody <laughs> rescues me, but um, that was nice, and we did go down to um, Phuket where they had oh, the oh Phuket. So we were Beautiful. there. We were there the summer after they had that big tsunami, because remember they had the tsunami in like December, and we went there the June, uh, whatever year that was. Right. Might have been like o two or something. Oh, 
Um, that would have been really sad. It kind of was. Depressing. Yeah. Um, the th- yeah. The thing, I know this sounds, uh, I don't know, very f- first world problems, but <laughs> the thing that I sometimes didn't like about uh, Thailand, it's even more so than Mexico, where if I ran across like an actual toilet that resembled a toilet, I was really thrilled. Right. Because a lot of times it's just, even in Bangkok, yeah, you're like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. So you go and then you go in this room and there's just in the stall like a hole in the yeah, floor. Yeah, so gross. And then you lower and you're like, okay, I don't need to go that bad. Uh, that's me. Yeah. Like I could literally hold it all day and yeah, do that. Yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah, but Thailand, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, I actually like Mexican food better than Thailand than Thai food. Maybe. Yeah, I have dishes I like of Thai. Like I love pad Thai. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, but yes, I probably would. Yeah, choose and like Mexican how general. they eat everything, and this is just a cultural thing. Cannot do that. Like, and this is I'm not making fun of anyone, but it's just cultural. Like the ladies, especially. Like if they're eating a fish, and the and the, you've probably seen this. So the fish comes on the tray, and then they suck, like uh, the heads, yeah. and like suck the yes. eyes out and the heads, and they're like, mm, "This is good." And you're like, okay. "Well, when I was in Bangkok, um, I went with Glenn, my friend Glenn, and we stayed with our friend Wee, who was from Bangkok, but mm-hmm. she was living in Australia. So we stayed at the house with her mother. Mm-hmm. And so for breakfast, the mother had gone down to the market or whatever and got all the fresh organs oh. and made this, I want to say it resembled a porridge mixture. Um, and then we all sat around at the table. And did like, she tell you what was in it? No, but I was asking we. I'm like, what is this? And she said, they're organs. And so as I was like lifting Fish it. Organs? I, I don't know, like chicken organs or whatever, some Ugh. animal organs. And I was just pulling out pieces and I, I I looked at her and I said, I can't eat this. Thankfully, the mother could not understand a word of English. Yeah. So I could just speak freely. But I was just like looking at it like, mm, this is fantastic. So every time the mother would look away or get up to do something, I would just spoon like <laughs> things of this into Glenn's and Wee's And were they bowls. eating it? Were they eating it? They were eating it. They were good with it because like, yes, yeah. they were quite happy. But I just couldn't do it. Like I literally was like, I can't even have a single – yeah. Spoon of this, like I'm I don't so even grossed want it out. To touch my lips. Couldn't do it. In the end, I just said to the mother, like you know, like all charades, like mm, yeah. so full. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and yeah, then like I said, I pretty much starved that trip because wherever we went, it was local food. Yeah, and like little street vendors. Now I'm like disgusting, like chicken yeah. dangling by its legs. Like I'm not eating a yeah. bit of that. Like yeah. anyway, it was great for the waste, but uh, I yeah. did go love it when we got to Krabi, and then it was more. Uh, westernized, yeah. like, you know, like yeah. I had an actual restaurant and yeah. I was ordering burgers. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, at least we've both been there, so we know, so we, we know. can scratch that off our list. Yes. My other favorite, probably the number one uh, vacation that I've mm-hmm. had would be a road trip that mum and I did. I think we were gone for two months mm. and we did 43 US states mm-hmm. and I think it was nine, seven or nine Canadian provinces. Wow. So we started off going along the Trans Canada one on the right, like right. after we'd done the whole sort of like you USA. Went Kamloops. Yes, and then as we started going along, we're like, "There's nothing. Yep. It's like seven hours between towns. Something like <laughs> this is really boring." So we kept nicking back into the USA. Yeah, you know, like doing like Iowa or whatever, like just yeah. doing little jaunts back in, and then coming back in Canada and yeah. going across a little bit more, coming back in. Uh, one of my highlights was. Canada, I can't remember the place, but it's called, but it had, where Paddington Bear. Oh, is that somewhere no, in Ontario? Winnipeg. Winnipeg. Oh, Winnipeg. Yes. Yeah, there were so many amazing things on oh. that trip. Like that was a real eye, uh-huh. eye opener yeah. of um, Canada to me. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, there's a Nova lot of, Scotia, stunning. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't been back there. My sister has. I have you I, been to all Canadian provinces? No. What's missing? Uh, I've only been, so starting from the west, BC, uh-huh. Alberta. In Saskatchewan. Ontario? Never been to Ontario. You've never been to Ontario? Uh-uh. No. That's so, really surprising yeah, to me. Yeah. I feel like well, that's where I, Toronto is? Yeah. Well, I moved down here when I was like 18. Yeah. So. Um, I, I was going to say, though, as far as some of the trips, like when, when David and I went, uh, I think maybe it was last year, 
up to Victoria to my uncle's in Mm -hmm. Salt Spring Island, which is one of the Canadian Gulf Islands, like how they have the San Juan Islands. Um, And then just stayed there with my sisters and my aunt and uncle and brother-in-law and then went to Victoria. Mm -hmm. And it was just that trip. You know how some trips is just like, you could never redo that trip. Yeah, you, like no matter the, how you try. Yeah, yeah, we had like the best. Uh, we were staying right on the inner harbor of downtown Victoria. Oh, Victoria is stunning. Yeah, and had that when we had dinner, the guy thought he was giving us this little crappy table off to the side, and we're like, okay, we'll take that. And it was the best view. We had the parliament that lit up, oh. and then the empress, and then we walked around and went and had a drink in the empress. Wow, you know, you know, like so. Sometimes the trips don't have to be you know, as grand as people think right. they are. But there's sometimes just, yeah. less is more. Yeah. Yeah. When Cassie and I did go to England and that was very fun. So I'd like to do that again. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what I liked uh when we went to Sedona? Oh that yes. was wonderful. Uh Arizona. Yeah. And what I liked about that was um and people should Google it if they've never seen pictures. Normally, I am more like if I was thinking of a vacation, I'm more of a beach, ocean right. vacation. Like that's but this me. was purely desert. It was desert, and it was. I, I was surprised at just how beautiful it was. It was like like every time stunning you, red rocks. Yeah, Is and that how you describe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like if somebody was into geology, like David's very smart into that kind of stuff, and mm-hmm. then you can tell like. Over millions of years, how that was, you know, and how, remember it had the lines yes. of the different colors. I think that means like different And didn't years. someone tell us that, that it's very spiritual or yeah. something, vortexes, something yeah. like there was more to it than just Because it seemed very, I mean, you, we'd only been planning it for a couple of weeks, I think. Yeah. Or, you know, we planned it and knew that we were, you know, going down there, but um it was just, I, I was surprised at how, and it was very relaxing. Yes, it was um, amazing. I, can I tell that funny story about the, in the pool? Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, there was. Mul- yeah, I'm like, multiple, which one? Multi- I'm a little scared. M- multiple stories about in the pool. But, uh-huh. but um, so we'd gone somewhere, it, and of course, it's very hot. So then you come back, get in the pool, whatever, blah, blah. Make yourself a little. Uh, Cocktail. Cocktail in my <laughs> water cooler. What do you call those? What? Is there a, like a slang word for like, someone called them a roadie soda or something, but do you have like a word for no. like making your own drink in your water bottle type thing? Uh, I don't no. know. I don't think I do. But the, 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 kind of maybe the mistake was I didn't do any measuring. So no, even you when did I, not. So even when I... It was I, like jet fuel. <laughs> Even Will and David were like, whoa. Woohoo. <laughs> but um, do you remember that uh, it was so, so the pool was this one day, it was uh, not too crowded, but there was this guy and he just took an extreme fancy to Amanda. Do you remember him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and, and I was kind of like, and he kept looking at you and then he kind of came like, Swimming, you know, stroking. Well, I won't use that. Swimming, <laughs> swimming over, and um, <laughs> so you know when somebody can't quite read the room, right? Yeah, and his name was Ricky, <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> Which, whatever, Ricky. You know, and I'm not trying to be mean, but if you're 48 and you're still calling yourself Ricky, um, <laughs> like maybe, because it was really Richard, I think I ended up right. asking him. But, you know, it could be Rick or Rich or Richard, but 48-year-old Ricky. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I won't go on and on about it, but he was wearing this. Um, we won't quite say it was, wasn't like a European style Speedo, but it was, <laughs> it was almost kind of this multicolor thick and he, he he just thought that he was going to have amanda as his new girlfriend oh you, you were being very polite I was, this is the problem i'm a people pleaser so i find it hard to just like cut the conversations so i get sucked into this loop of yeah like, and, talking he, and, to someone. and he was like following you around like swimming around and trying to get it but it, well i won't use the word butt in but 
get in and into the conversation when and then saying all these crazy things. But that's the fun thing about going on vacation sometimes. Just just the random, random people. The David ran- was enjoying it. David was actually well, like, I think making he, the conversation. I think he and I were kind of encouraging. Yes. Um but he and he didn't look forty eight. And you know <laughs> did you notice? Well, this is not nice to but you know, when you're 48 and you still have like that teenage acne on your back. <laughs> Didn't you notice No, that? I did not look. <laughs> Good thing. Good. Th- yeah. No, I was too busy trying to swim but you away. Did give him, you did give him, like, why, why did you even give him your phone number? Because or- I can't say no. <laughs> when someone asks, I'm like, like, a, I can't say no. I'm a people pleaser. I don't know what to say. I just get sucked into this. Yeah, and then I try to think about giving a fake one, and like are they going to know straight away? Like, anyway, long story short, block the you number. didn't. Yeah, you didn't hear. It. Yeah. Oh, he did. He texted me or whatever, and I he, just yeah. Poor Ricky. Ew, shut it down. Yeah. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> but, um, but good that was, times. That was, that was so fun. Uh, like, that pool was amazing. Mm-hmm. Infinity pool. Mm-hmm. Oh, take yeah. me back. Yeah, and I like. I like. Especially it. now, wouldn't it be amazing? Like the weather would be perfect. Yeah. Well, I think, are we going to go to the pool next or are we going to go hop in the hot tub? I think we should do the pool. Okay. I think we should do the pool. And maybe maybe a massage? I could go a massage. Okay. I could go a massage. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I do love it. Either we get one here or on our way back do the little, our fancy foot one that we love at. um, Okay. What's Uh, that place? Laoshan. Laoshan, yeah. Oh, is it Laoshan? Laoshan. I thought it was Laoshan. Well, maybe Whatever one of them. I don't know. Interesting. Uh, I have uh, some Australian words for you. Okay. Because we cannot go without doing that. Okay. I'd be insulted. Okay. Guess the Australian word. Number one, she'll be right. She'll be right? She'll be right. That means everything will be good. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's pretty self-explanatory, yeah. but yeah. It's just like it reflects our optimistic and relaxed yeah. nature of yeah. us Australians. Like, yeah. she'll be right, mate. She'll be right. Like, no matter what it is. Yeah. Like, someone has just fell off a cliff. Ah, oh, she'll be she, right. She'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, breather. You're going to go take a breather? Yeah. Going to go take a break. Uh, I feel like this is half Canadian. So, uh, remember I was saying that to you, half these things are more Canadian. I think we yeah. we are on the same page. Yes, yeah, like, it's like you should have said to Ricky, dude, go take a breather. Take a breather, mate. <laughs> yes, she will not be right. Please leave. Uh, number three, Smoko. A Smoko? Smoko. Smoko. Well, I'm thinking kind of a barbecueish thing, but that's not right. A it's smoko, not right. Uh, like a, a smoko, like a big smoky. Um, not not. It's more like um, when you're pretending something's not what it is. Ooh, I like a smoke screen. Yeah. No, I love that. No, but no. Um, what do you call your break at work? Like when you have a break. Like a break. A, a break. Oh, and they call it smoko if they smoke? It's a break. Well, it used to be like you'd have your smoke, but now it's just become just a like a, you, a break, like a snack, a, oh. go to the toilet, have okay. a rest, like a break. Oh. Yeah, smoko. Huh. Uh, chock a block. Chock a block. Chock a block. That's some kind of saying. Well, of course, but. Uh, <laughs> chock a block. Chock a block. Chock a block, mate. Um. <laughs> I love that you threw mate on the end there. <laughs> Chucklebuck. Uh, move on. No. Okay. So, for example, I'm eating David's dinner and I'm like, oh, I am chock a block. Like you're, oh, okay, you're just stuffed. Full. full. Completely full. Uh, number five, a nutty. A nutty. Nutty. Not a nutty, just nutty. nutty. N-U-D-D-Y. Oh, nutty. Nutty. Uh, uh, little, a little off. <laughs> like a nutty. No, so I'd be like, um, I ran out of the hotel room mm-hmm. and I was in the nutty and you got know? locked out. Yeah. Oh, you were naked. 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 Well, nutty, remember now we were talking about this. So, but remember when we were driving here mm-hmm. and we were going, I don't know, we we're almost here. And for some reason I called something a wing nut. Yes. So maybe that's more Canadian. Maybe it's American. I don't know. I love that saying. And you hadn't heard it before. I had never heard of a saying, a wing nut. Yeah, when you call somebody a wing nut, um, it means they're a little off, a little screwy, screw loose, wing nut. Yeah. (laughs) 
<laughs> I really like that term, terminology. So kind of like, well, it's different than nutty, but yeah, but a wing nut. I love it. Yeah. So what are your plans for this week? Anything exciting? Any highlights? Mm. Anything I should be a part oh, of? Well, oh, we've got the party. They've got the party. Oh, my God. What am I saying? Yes, we're going to the party so I Saturday. Think, yeah, I think I'm going to make uh, some of those butter tarts. Oh. With the raisins in them, remember? I really love that. And had you not told me it was a raisin, I would have enjoyed it way more. Something really? that block in my head of I'm eating a raisin, of eating a raisin. Uh, the, those are golden raisins, though. I mean, I don't care if it's black raisin or green, <laughs> golden or whatever. It just, it's like the it's whole kind of, beef thing to me. Oh. Raisins. Because remember I asked you if you liked raisins. And I said, eh, not yeah. really. But yeah. when I ate that, I mean, it's delicious. Like I said, had I have not known it was just a thousand okay. raisins, I would have enjoyed it more. Because okay. I don't like. Um, do you like raisin I, cookies? No, I do not. It's always Oatmeal disappointing. Oatmeal raisin? No. Whenever I see one and I buy one. I'm so disappointed because really? it looks to me like a chocolate chip. And when I b- bite into it and it's oh, a raisin, I'm oh, like, disgusting. Okay. No, not my thing. So I think I'm going to make some of those. I won't tell anybody with raisins. I'll just put Canadian treat. Yes. Call them butter tarts. Yes. Because they do taste very buttery. Oh, and they're delicious and everyone will love they're them. They're like little pecan tarts with the, you know. You are base. an amazing cook, chef. No, not really. But Baker. I like to bake better. And then I'm going to, I think I'll make some Nanaimo bars. <gasps> Remember I brought yes. some back. Those were bought. They I'll are make some. delicious. They're yeah. Canadian. They're, what are they like? So coconut? The, bo- the bottom layer is uh, graham cracker, coconut, and butter. So you smush that up. Put that, I think you bake that for a little bit. I haven't done it for a while. Then the middle layer is this special um, custard stuff. It's a powder. Mm, it's great. Uh, I think you can buy it here at World Market, it, but it's like a Canadian thing, so I don't. I don't think you can buy it. You can't buy it. Do you love store. World Market? Yeah, and then the top layer is just a thin layer of um, semi-sweet chocolate, mm. semi-sweet or semi-sweet, whichever. Do you say semi or semi? Semi. Semi sweet. Semi. Semi sweet. Semi. 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 Yeah. I don't. Know. I think I say semi. I find it hard now to remember uh, yeah, how I used I to say something. You feel the same? I feel the same sometimes. Um, Well, I've had a great chat with you. Yeah. We didn't didn't get to too much of our... our No. Will you come? Well, let's do it again. I feel like we just need to go somewhere next week and try, like, do a different location. You know what I think we should do, seeing how now you've got all the mobile... Yes. Equipment. Equipment. uh, Maybe we should even get some big name sticker or something for the side of your... Mobile uh, audio yeah. visual trunk. Oh, I like that. that? Audio, yes, that is. No, it. it's not visual audio trunk. Audio trunk. Uh, but you I know, like that. You know what? Remember, we were talking about going to all the different McMinimans. Let's do that. Let's do that because I really because, want to do a whole um, episode on McMinimans. Yeah, like and, it's and, such so unique to yeah, America. Yeah, and setting this up. I mean, that it, it really it didn't like, take long. No, not even a half an hour and. Throw everything. Right, I mean, up. I feel like the quality is just the same. Yeah, like it still sounds. Yeah, good. I think it. I think it's best if you're just in the smaller hotel. Remember yeah. originally when we were thinking about doing it down the lobby area? Oh, that would be insane. Well, and then you attract people. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Um, we are going to do a little video when we get off here for TikTok. I'm oh, going are? to. Um, yeah, I've got some ideas for us. So, okay. yeah, I think it'll be great with the beautiful backdrop. Okay. Anyway, it's been an absolute pleasure having yeah. you back at long last. I mean, begging you to come back for a long time now. It, it just now. seems like, I mean, I can't even hardly believe that we're we're almost mid-October. And can you believe I'm at episode 36? Good grief. Is that insane to you? Yeah. Who thought it would even go past episode two? Yeah. No yeah. one. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's such a nice day. So we'll go sit in the pool. We'll have a little cocktail. Yeah, are you gonna have are you gonna have Kahlua? I may lash out and have a Kahlua. Okay. I may lash out. Are you gonna have the whipped cream in it or just Of course. <laughs> and I do love when they put a little um umbrella. Okay. I don't know what it is about an umbrella and a drink for me. Yeah. That makes the drink for yeah. me. You know, maybe that couple that we met this morning, where were they? Hungary or something? I don't think it was Hungary. Um uh, some, Sweden or I don't know. It was, it was Eastern somewhere Europe. Europe. Yeah, yeah. It was Eastern European country. They were quite uh Lovely. And they, yeah, they've, you know, it's fun meeting different people from all over when they have lots of different stories. Yes. Enjoy it. And I'll keep my uh, my eye out for Sam. 
Yes, let's go. Let's meet Sam. Let's get in the pool and uh because I thought too. Cocktail. You know, if he does a uh, podcast TikTok thing in Japan, maybe we could get. Oh, a I might free, collaborate. Free trip to Japan. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love that you're always thinking what's in it for you. <laughs> this is why we're friends. <laughs> well, have an amazing week, and we will. Uh, yeah, you'll find us in the pool. Okay. Bye. Bye.